In the eastern half of Kansas, there are about a thousand square miles of pasture that are affected by the plant. Um, that number is constantly trending upward, and that has to do with the aggressive invasive nature of the plant. If you could design a plant to disrupt this ecosystem, it would look a lot like Ceresia lespedeza. Cattle are very sensitive to the toxin, and for whatever reason, nobody's quite sure yet, goats and sheep uh, are pretty resilient to the toxin. We're, we're faced with a, a choice. If we're going to use small ruminants and the associated grazing pressure, we've got to incorporate them in a way that preserves our favored production practices. And here in the Flint Hills, what we're really talking about is the system known as intensive early stocking, or some people call it double stocking. Now, our idea in kind of integrating small ruminants into uh, this intensive early stocker system is to follow that normal steer season with uh, a short-term grazing bout with a lot of sheep. And, and here's, the, here's the approach, okay? The, the steers uh, would, would come into the Flint Hills in the month of April or May. They would spend 75 to 100 days here per normal, okay? And then as soon as forage quality starts to wane a little bit, those steers would normally move off to mm -hmm. another segment of the beef production chain. After that happens, after that event, uh, the, the research that we're working on now, we move in a, a fairly high stocking density of sheep. It amounts to about two and a half mature ewes per acre, and we stay there for 60 days. We are three years into a four-year study uh, where uh, we have eight pastures in our research. Four of them, or all of them, are grazed with steers during the normal steer season, and half of them are grazed by sheep for an additional 60 days beyond steers, and the two species are never on the pasture at the same time. Uh, there's this hierarchy of plants that they go, go to uh, in their grazing habits. Early in that 60-day season, they'll go to ironweed first. That's a plant that we often spend a lot of time and money trying to control. Well, the, fortunately for us, the next plant in the hierarchy of, of sheep consumption is Ceresia lespedeza. It takes about two weeks from the time we turn them out before they start to really heavily use the plant. But at the end of that 60-day period, in excess of 90% of the Ceresia plants on this, on this study site have been defoliated. When Ceresia in particular doesn't have leaf area, no photosynthesis or root carbohydrate storage is occurring, and no seed production can take place. There has been about a tenfold decrease in Ceresia seed between the, the treated pastures and the untreated pastures. Year upon year upon year of treatment continues to reduce the plant. That points to a, a trend of disappearance.